Greetings, I'm Rob Chappers. And I'm the captain. And we're here at Anderton's, this sunny, warm, fine day, to bring you the best new amplification from Marshall. We certainly are. Mm, uh, I didn't think that these little hampties were, were arriving until January, and uh, they're not even on the Marshall website yet. <gasps> and Rob was here yesterday, and we were shooting videos, and a man in a truck kind of turned up with a delivery. And what came off the back of the truck? But the new Marshall DSL-5C. Hit it! <laughs> Awesome! Okay, so DSL 5C, part of the DSL family, so it's an all tube uh, guitar amplifier. Um, one of these sort of growing trends of uh, very low powered uh, valve amplifiers that actually use. Uh, a, re a relatively normal selection of preamp tubes, so this has three ECC83s in the preamp, but then uses, um, again, a sort of another, uh, uh, an untypical power tube. So mm. this has a 12 BH7 um, in the power section, so it's not quite the same as... as big and hairy. Yeah, it's not, it's not a big and hairy amplifier, but it gives you five watts, <coughs> which is plenty. Um, and some of the other features that I really like is an extra low output button on the back, so it switches it down to one watt, so great for oh, really? your home use. And across the front, you know, nice EQ, a deep button so that when you are playing at lower volumes, it enhances the bass end. Should we hear the difference? Yeah. Let's, so I'll just chug and, and you do we'll some... We'll probably uh... want to go click. Well, let's take you through the sounds. <clears throat> so um, we're going to start with a clean tone, um, which will kind of crunch up, but only if we really gun it. We have a, a tone shift button and a deep button. And what I'll do is whilst Rob is playing, I'll engage tone shift. All it does is it really changes how the, the mid control works. So you'll hear um, with the button pushed in a slightly um, less midly tone. So you'll, you'll like that if you're a scoopy kind of player. Uh, and the deep button, again, you're gonna want this on at low volumes. And then the harder you drive the amplifier, at some point you'll go, mm, do you know what? I'm getting that slightly nasty, too much bass end, yeah. uh, I'm going to want to switch the deep button off. So here is the deep switch in action without yeah. it, first of all. Without is like this. With it. That's and a tremendous difference. Yeah, and it's, it's a really user, it's a bit like a loudness switch on a hi fi. Uh, and the tone shift button, so this is without. And then with. So it's yeah. a slightly different kind of sound. The best thing about this amplifier to my ears is the incredible gain. Yes. It's got a lot of it on tap. So this is called the Ultra Gain Channel. Now what we're also going to do, and what you'll find, or what we found earlier in the video, is we've only got the gain set here at about 10 o'clock. Now for recording, that's perfect. You're going to get heaps of gain, it's going to sound cool. However, when you're at home and just in your bedroom, you can absolutely have a bit more gain and it will give you that kind of sustain and legato. But if we record like that, it will go a bit fizzy. But I'll, you know, so I'm um, gonna leave the deep switch in, leave the tone switch out, and here we have ultra gain. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
which is great. Let me show you the one watt switch as well. This is how Ooh. you can really get uh, you know some <coughs> late night practice sessions in without upsetting anybody. It's the same riff. <laughs> And that's that's quiet. You don't need to worry too much it's about retaining, any more of that. It's retaining the essential bass characteristics yeah. of, of the tone, but at a yeah. much lower volume. Absolutely. It's good. Uh, it has an audio input as well, so that you can run you know backing tracks through this. It's very portable. It's a 10-inch speaker. It's very lightweight, so you haven't really got to worry too much if you know if you've got back problems. FX loop. There is yes, there is a bit of a sort of. I mean, this is very much competing with you know other amps in that 5 watt category i suspect if you're looking at buying a a, a um, 5 watt amplifier the blackstar ht5r is probably going to come into your equation at some point as it has been the best selling you know little amplifier of the last 3 or 4 years well, this is a serious um, competitor this is a serious it? competitor it doesn't have reverb in it uh, we are using the effects loop thank goodness it has a, an effects loop um, tc electronic hoff on yeah, the floor and, all you need is, you know, I, th I can't remember how much is the Mini Hoff. It's about 70, 80 pounds. And you can get actually within things like the Moor and the Hotone sort of range, you know, you can get reverbs and echo pedals down to about 50 pounds. So uh, you'll probably want one of those with it. We've got an echo pedal plugged in as well. Is it unfair that we're putting a 2,000 pound less pull through it? Um, no, because we're going to use a Cap 10. Yeah, let's use a Cap 10. Sounds oh, really, it? really nice. Yeah, it's got Just play spins. a bit more lead. You know what, when an amplifier sounds that good, with a player this good, there's not a lot more you need to say about a great product. No, it's, it's, it's a good little amp. So money-wise, as I said, it's very much in the same ballpark as all the other kind of little 5 watt um, tube amps out there. So be prepared to part with sort of, you know, 350, 400 pounds for this. I would definitely add in, you know, you've got to, to, to probably factor in a little reverb pedal as well, because I don't think many people are going to want to play at home and not have reverb. Certainly no. if you're gigging, it doesn't really matter, you know, you just turn the thing yeah, up. So get your little micro pedals and get one of these yeah. new micro pedals pedal boards and just have fun at home playing and jamming at Christmas Could you time. Help, let me just again be careful with the level to it. Let's just do the gig test. Could you Could you gig it? Yeah. So do you, it. By me? Yeah. Alright. Kind of a yeah we'll just <laughs> No, but that does sound sick. Yeah, it does sound. It sounds better, but it, it, it it's definitely a, a home use little yes. recording. 
garage band type Views. amp, isn't it? If you wanted to gig this, absolutely, microphone in front of it through the PA. But you probably wouldn't buy this to gig. This is definitely for the guys who just want to jam around at it home, is. isn't it? So I've been Rob Chapman. And I've been the captain. Farewell. And you need to give it a score out of 10. So let's. Re I mark rewind. this out of 10. I mark this out of 10 at astounding 8.9, Marshall. Wow! Um, We've got 15 seconds of tape. I'm going to go 8.2. Thank <laughs> you.